Welcome, gamers, to the GAU podcast. We are com- Gamers R Us coming at you live from the Microsoft Store in the great city of Boston, Massachusetts, inside the Prudential Center. I am Eric Rickety Beans Urbino, and of course, I'm always joined by. I'm Drew Frere, joining you here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not beating that. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was professional. Sounds. Andy Lunique, and that is all. Uh, and I'm Oz back again. This is weird. It's like deja vu. I've seen you guys like three times today. Yeah, <laughs> this is like our fourth intro too. But we have I different swear pants I've on somewhere now, before. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, why don't, why don't you why don't you give us the uh, the rundown for today's topic? What are we Let's talking about? Let's talk about social media in gaming. Ooh. And you know, obviously, everyone's gonna have a bit of a few opinions on this. But let me tell you right now, we're gonna go through a good amount of the highs and lows of what it's done to our industry over the last six years, seven years, and what it's going to do in the future. And, you know, every single form of social media does have an effect on our industry now. We're in it. We're massive. We can't really avoid what the public eye says anymore. So I think I'd like to begin by talking about the responsibility of our community when it comes to social media. You mean Alrighty. we have responsibilities oh, when we use yes. Facebook and Twitter? That's you know. a dirty word. No, <laughs> you can't take anything I say online for real. I can't just drink a few shots and go on and put whatever I feel about any title. You Can know, you? I, I swear, That's there have been some pretty embarrassing moments for the entire industry, especially the players, when it comes to how people conduct themselves online. I don't care how old you are. You need to realize that what you say does create ripples. And whether it's an offensive comment to another, you know, blogger, or if it's, you know, you know, a hate email to EA, which there are billions every single year, mm-hmm. you've really got to realize what you say does matter. And what you say reaches the people who are making these games, and you actually affect their jobs, you affect the industry, you affect de- decisions that are made. And I'm going to start with that giant bomb. <laughs> so, you know, my question to you guys, I mean, I'm going to go huh? group on this one, is, you know, talk about some of the examples that you've seen where we have completely... Can you miss the opportunity to do something positive through social media for gaming, and then when we've done something very negatively, you know, when we, you know, when we could do something else? I mean, right off the top of the head, you got the uh, Jennifer Hepler deal where, uh, you know, she comes in talking about gamers being sexist and all this, and of course, how do people respond? But with absolutely just sexist comments in the world when you can you know I think as a, as a gamers you need to help hold up for like the whole community like you say because when we attack back with that comments she's reading that as the whole gaming community is now saying this because yeah. the majority of people who speak up are people who say bad things um, and I think that kind of fits what we need to say better things we need to start saying oh th- uh, tweet at uh, you know Naughty Dog thanks for giving us Last of Us that was great rather than why don't I have this game mode yeah. Like, I think it's, it's, we should treat them the way they treat us. They try to do the, what's best for the gamer, and we try to, we should help them back. It's, we, I, a part of it, I think, is just, it's human nature. Like, it's, it's easier to destroy than it is to create. So, whenever something people don't like it, it's a lot easier to pull, like, a Hulk smash moment and hammer on your keyboard and, you know, post something about how you hate it and it's garbage and these people should all be, die and everything, <laughs> than it is to go... Uh, Hey guys, I just want to take five minutes out of my day to let you know that I thought this was spectacular. Like, yeah, it's so know? true though. Some people do that, but like that's a very small percentage. That's yeah. why the negative criticism is so much more popular. Right. It's also the whole, you know, it's the anonymity of the internet plus opinion equals asshole. Yep. So then people just <laughs> yeah. turn into like, I'm going to post whatever I want and all this hate-filled garbage all over this site or all over this blog or swear at, you know, some kid on, you know, online playing games just because I don't like insert X you know what I mean yeah and there's an interesting duality there because it's always like the the squeaky hinge gets the grease and for every 1000 oh I love Titan Falls there are out there there's gonna be like the one where it didn't work they couldn't get online they ran into a PR guy who was having a bad day and lashed out at him, and that will make it to the top of Reddit. Yeah, You'll never absolutely. see a post on Reddit, this guy really liked Titanfall! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's upvote it 2,000 <laughs> times! We're not, we're not that culture, though. I mean, America's, America in particular is just like, they, we thrive on, on garbage. I mean, look at Look at like all the t- all the TV shows now. They're huge. Oh, we're man. going, we're going there. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, oh, we're going there. It's, it's, but it's, it's bled over from social media into like pop culture now. It's it's negative is king. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear a show about like let's talk about what's great. Let's talk about what's awesome. It's like who can we who can we watch today and just just like tear apart. Like, I mean, that's what it's so true. Who gets who gets more views? You know, it's like Total Biscuit uh, with his like let's not play videos are going to get more views than his let's play video on some spectacular indie game, and, the, and then angry. Joe on the other side of the table who had a 
freaking 26 minute rage fest about Metal Gear Solid, and it's like, <laughs> relax, bro. Like, no, uh, I get you? that's your shtick, but like, he's just getting people to think that that's the opinion of the average person because he has a million and a half subscribers, you know? Right, and volume, apparently, like, volume equals correctness. Like, it yeah, matter, right. Uh, the louder I scream, the, that's, how, that's how right I am. Yeah, I want to flip it around for a minute, though, if you don't mind. <laughs> no, go ahead. Flip it. The new SimCity game is no longer always online. And that was a change that was made by public outcry against yeah. how it wasn't working when it was always online. Yes. And I think we've done a lot of similar things like that by complaining about this and changing the industry for the better. There's, there's two sides to this. The way I think, I think is there's, there's a right way to do it and there's the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is that, uh, you know, petitions and stuff like that. And then there's the wrong way to do it, which is like just spamming message boards and spamming social media at people who had no decision in making that like that decision in SimCity. Um, and you know it did work, but there was probably worked because there was more legitimate people emailing saying this is what the real issue is and can you please fix it more than the people screaming at directly at a developer. You, yeah, I think you can use it if you're if you're smart. I think a lot of the companies have done a good job of harnessing the, the public and, and their, their fan base. Uh, I mean, Ubisoft, back in the day, when the first Assassin's Creed came out, I'll be honest, I, the first Assassin's Creed I hated. It's, it's so dated and, and just clown shoes mm -hmm. in terms of the way it works. But the fans were vocal about it, and Ubisoft listened to them, and they were like, hey, we want more weapons. Hey, we want more animations. Hey, we want more you know, different modes. And then in 2, they fixed a lot of that. Yeah. And then they were like, hey... How come I'm a master assassin, but if I fall in the water, I drown? So then in Brotherhood, they're like, oh, he can swim now. Yep. Like, they yeah. kept fixing it. So each version of the game that they've made, they've listened to the bulk of their opinions, and they made that. Like, you know, three versus Black Flag, and three people were like, oh, oh the yeah. ship combat was great. I wish there was more of it. So they were like, hey, let's make a pirate game where Whole it's mostly ship combat. Plus, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so they do, like, certain companies are really good at harnessing that sort of resource and using it for a positive sort of spin on things, right. as opposed to being like, oh, they hate our games, we should just put a gun in our mouths. Yeah, you know, <laughs> no, that, no more Assassin's Creed games. <laughs> that starts with you know, the one important job that people are really starting to pay attention to, and this is from Riot all the way down to Activision, the community managers of every single game. I know several of them who have to literally speak to the community. You've got to take every single bullet. You've got to understand what you're kind of you know filtering everything like you know yeah. what, what is this the rage comment and what is the serious concern and just like you said you know I mean you can affect the course of a game just by talking about it and I think that if they can take a little bit more time to kind of maybe organize the children so yeah. to speak you know what I mean and just bring them to an area that makes them feel like they don't have to scream their opinion out loud to get it heard but just have a discussion you know what I mean talk about it or you know do it in a healthy way because a lot of developers are relying on metrics at times to talk about what they do with their next game like oh we had this much completion rate. We should make it, you know, we make, make the game uh, shorter. shorter yeah. You know, or, oh, no one used this weapon. Well, we'll take it out of the game. No one touched it. And then instead, you can listen to a community manager who spoke to literally hundreds of people who said, this weapon sucked because of X, Y, and Z. Let's talk about it. It's got to be more conversation and not just, you know, I'm reading comments online. I've made a decision. Yeah. And right, you mentioned Riot Games. And I think they go about it really like the right way. They have a bunch of people whose pretty much sole job it is to just be on the League of Legends subreddit and Reddit, see what people are talking about, see what what's like popping up in the community that's becoming a problem and they're answering questions they're asking what people would like change and then they just go and bring that like uh news to the the top and then they make the changes from there yeah and like, I, I that's feel the like, way to do it i feel like the pc gamers are much better at that as a whole i think that if you're playing a pc game i think pc gamers in general know like okay i'll just go onto their forum and post what the problem is and within a couple of days they're like oh cool there's a patch it's for that fixed, yeah. whereas like yeah, console gamers in general, it seems like they're like, I'll just be really angry and yell and post something on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Someone will know. And yeah. Now, do you think that if they had an opportunity to direct their questions that way, with you know, it, would it help if they had the, had the knowledge that they could say something? You think it will help them, or are they just ignorant? I think I think it's a I think it's a it's probably a little bit of both. I mean, like I know, like playing Titanfall. We've been talking about this all day. Uh, uh, so when I'm playing Titanfall, when you first log in on the main screen, it says down at the bottom, it says you know follow us on whatever, and it has their website for respawn. And it says, we, you know, we appreciate your feedback. And I was like, that's really cool. So even if I'm a new gamer and I've, this is my first system, I don't know what I'm doing right there. I'm like, oh, cool. I can go onto the interwebs yeah. and post stuff. <laughs> that's a good, that's so, good that they actually say that yeah. in there. Yeah. I think a, a disclaimer like that at the beginning of a game would be fantastic to be like, hey, we know you, like, you just popped in this game, but we'd love to hear what you thought of it and maybe even create some type of online survey. Um, I've taken a million of them for like Elder Scrolls right. about how would you like our next game and you go through and you click all of it. Yeah. I don't mind doing that because, you know, 
it's just gonna help the next game be better. Exactly. Yeah, Black Flag I'm helping has a them make system. my game. That's yeah. Yeah. yeah Black, Black Flag, Flag has a rating system after every single mission. It's like, hey, what do you think? What do you think? I mean, I, I, and I've gone back. I hated that one. That was awesome. Hated that yeah. one. Yeah. Eh, that was okay. That GTA feels really Online good. did the same thing as well. Uh, they would have to e rate the mission all night. The only problem I see with that is that I would either put it five stars, this was a fun mission, or one star, that was boring. Yeah, but I mean, they're collecting thousands of bits of data, yeah, that's so true, if you that's felt true. passionate enough to talk about it, that's good stuff. Yeah, that's that's true as well. Now, I'd like to move on to talking about how, I mean, now we talked about how it affects the industry, but now we're all about reviews, we're all about sales now, and <laughs> I, I hate to say it, retailers. Alrighty, and you know, people have an insane opinions that they're always, you know, going on Facebook, Twitter, things like that. You know, with, with one action that goes, that happens, you know, uh, one incident, I remember, Deus Ex, Human Revolution comes out. Alrighty, everyone remembers that game was, you know, I you know that game. it was a fantastic like it. game. Yeah, like but a lot of people forget what happened that day when a lot of the, believe the PC players mm -hmm. or, you know, p p people got the game, there was a free voucher for the digital version and GameStop was told, um, you got to take those out because there was never a proper deal. Is that how it went down? It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't any one retailer. Basically, what happened was the, who was that? The, who was the, the was developer? That Eidos? That was I, Eidos and Square. Uh, uh, it was. No, no, no. Of Days X, well, I don't have the bills because I downloaded it. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're, we're blanking out, but anyways, whoever whoever that that person was, their like digital partner apparently made a bunch of mistakes on the actual disc copies, mm -hmm. and they were supposed to include the voucher and they didn't. But they said, "Oh yeah, it's in everything," and it happened everywhere. Like that happened at Best Buy, Target, Walmart, GameStop, all these different companies, and it's because it wasn't communicated well enough to the developer and then they didn't communicate it to this to the retailers right so then it looked like you know all the different stores like fell down on their face and it really wasn't their fault it just wasn't handled properly yeah i mean but, to them it's like you're giving we're giving out two copies of a game right now but, and that's not really fair but the social media component came in because everybody flipped out and just went on and turned, and it into, it turned into this giant rage fest and it, it, it was okay i found out about it i was like well first of all deus ex is out holy cow <laughs> <laughs> you know and i, I was just and i was just kind of shocked to find out and now i'm digging in for information about it but you know was that the right way to go about it or was that going to happen no matter what I'm, I don't know. I don't know if that's a. I don't know if that's a social media. I mean, maybe because I mean, if they'd handled the right way, if you where were else? I mean, where else did you learn about it? Where else did you learn about it? it when was I websites? went to pick up my copy. Oh, uh, you heard of the store? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just saying though, it really is down to social right now. Everything that I find online is, you know, Polygon, IGN. You know what I mean? Uh, website after website after website. But half the time, and most people can probably confess this, they want to read the view, but the first thing they do, score comments. Then I'm and then I'm up. <laughs> you know, I'm I do. Like, I do that. You know, I, what they give it? Okay, I'll give them the time of yeah. the day to read it. Yeah, <laughs> five. Oh no, I got five. Read this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know? I almost, I almost take it as a dare. Like I consider myself knowledgeable <laughs> enough that if I, if I'm looking forward to the game. I'm gonna play it regardless. I don't care if every reviewer hates oh, yeah. it. I'm gonna play it. Definitely. If I love it enough, I'm gonna. And if play it's a it. game that I'm on the fence about, and they're like, I gave it a D. I'm like. I'll take that dare. I'm going to try that game because I think you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you how to play a game. So, I mean, it, like, I, I get that you have to have social media. And, and sure, people have an opinion, and they're allowed to, to do that. I mean, that's kind of the beauty of everything. But just because it's their opinion, again, it doesn't mean that they're right or right. that th their opinion is the end-all, be-all. And well, you gotta, now we're, oh, go you gotta remember too that we're like living in an era where people vicariously live out video games through each other. Now, I mean, Twitch TV is a huge industry. Yep. People yes. like watching other people play I games. Don't get that. It's I just what? it's just the next step from a review. Honestly, it instead is. of listening to someone talk about their experience, it's just watching Watch someone, someone experience it. experience it. Yeah, hey, man, first hey man, tell you about your tell me about your trip to Rome. Was that awesome? Cool. Now I don't need to go now. <laughs> yeah, you, you got that. I mean, could you in a way, how was Disney World? Is in it good? a way, okay, cool. Thanks. Now I don't have to ever go. Gone home. I just watched. I just watched it on YouTube. It was like four videos. I was like, you know, it's going to take just as long to watch it as play it. But a game like, I'm not going to watch a game like Mass Effect. But the truth right. is, there's, there, <laughs> there's, mon there's there's financial risk here for gamers because you know what? Honestly, you know, we're, we're not in our situation. Right. We're all adults who can just say, I'm going to go buy that game and be okay. Yep. When I can only afford Get a job. One, <laughs> you know? You I'm, you know <laughs> if I'm 14 years old, I've got a PS4, I can only afford one game in the next three months because no one's going to buy me anything. And I, I okay, I have Thief, I have Infamous, I've got, uh, you know, a ton of uh, other downloadable games. I gotta pick one, and as these reviews aren't doing enough for me, I want to know what kind of experience I have. Now I got PlayStation and Twitch to kind of go. Well, I want to look at the game. That's the experience I want. I'm gonna go for it because I, I can only make one choice. Yeah. Even if I trade in games, I don't. I only have one shot. So another piece to kind of keep in mind, like on that same note, is uh, if you look at the last couple of like not I wouldn't say AAA releases, but the last sort of like somewhat smaller releases, like Dark Souls 2 and Fire Emblem and Bravely Default, like all of those. 
they didn't really expect them to do huge in the U.S. and a lot of people didn't reserve it, you know, either online or in stores or whatever. And when it came out, retail sold out instantly. Yep. People were like, "What do you mean you sold out of it?" And I'm like, "Well, did you reserve it? No. Okay. Well, that's why they're out of it because they the new developers now they're using that as sort of like a barometer of whether or not a game is going to sell like crazy when it comes out. Yeah. And they make that many. So like Bravely Default, that game is fantastic, and there wasn't a lot of like you know feedback on it so they were like okay we'll do a small production run and it sold out instantly and then mm -hmm. people were like oh my friend has that game i heard it's great and they're like well yeah it is we don't have it yeah. <laughs> and they're like, well how do i get it you don't you, like developers are doing that nowadays the days of going into a store you know the day of launch or a couple of days after launch and being like i want to pick up that new title and they have like, oh yeah, sure, we have 100,000 copies of it. Like, that's just over. That's not going to exactly. happen. Which Unless it's Call of Duty or Madden. Which is sad. Yeah, I mean, the truth is, though, where media and, you know, marketing and advertising, where you don't have the money to produce it, social media can fill that gap. Because that's how Bravely Default got out there. So yeah, social media for can smaller. do something for Again, you. Again, yeah. not indie, but, but smaller developers like that. Like Correct. They rely on that sort of social media feedback. And if they don't get it, they're like, well, I guess this, I guess it's not going to be that big. Yeah. yeah. And that's the positive, positive side to it. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. no doubt that social media both bites us in the ass and helps us out It's a literally, lot. <laughs> It's literally yeah. on a rubros. It's eating itself. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think gamers need to speak out. And that's, you know, that's it. When it comes down to gamers need to speak out, but they need to do it in the right proper way and with the right proper channels. Yeah, Pre-order the game you want and grow up when uh, when talking to another adult on the internet. And show up when you want the game. Yeah. Show up That's and another piece. Social media I think is killing the art of conversation. Yeah, right? Mm, no, that, let's not go time. there. Let's yeah, we go gotta, there, right? we gotta, any, any, yeah. any, yeah, we got we, I mentioned it, now we're not gonna have a conversation. Well, we, we, we gotta wrap this one <laughs> Next up. Next week we'll have a conversation. Yeah, we gotta wrap this one up. Um, Online. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna forget you guys. <laughs> Off. Well, uh, thank you, gamers, for tuning in. Thank you, Andy, for bringing in that topic. But clearly, we, we are not done talking about it yet. Maybe we'll revisit it in the future. Will we ever be done talking about no, it? No, maybe not. We'll have, like, an overtime that we'll put up on the web. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Frank and James, for running things as always. Thank you, Drew, for joining us. Thank You're you, welcome. Andy, for joining us. And thank you very much, Oz, for joining us. It was a great debate. Thanks again. Oz rocks. Uh, discussion. I do what I can. Why don't you, Andy, tell them about this Killer Instinct tournament. As you see behind us, there's some carnage going on. That's my boy right there. April 27th, <laughs> here at the Microsoft Store Prudential Mall in Boston, we have one of the best Killer Instinct tournaments you've seen in a long time. If you've been practicing, if you know what's going on, come down. There is a very large prize pot available. It's April 27th on a Sunday, 12 p.m. Be here. Registration will be at GamersRUs.com. $20 to sign up. Online only. And we'll see you there. But All don't right. come if you main Thunder. <laughs> it's cheap. Just, Thunder's the just best. save yourself some time and leave. Yeah. Thunder's the best. <laughs> well, we are Gamers R Us. Make sure you check us out at GamersRUs.com. And subscribe to our YouTube down below. We are GAU Studios. Um, and, you know, that's all I got for you tonight. Game on. <laughs>